folks, welcome to the Heartland. Uh, my name is Chris Gregory, and we're gonna do a video on how to pull a clip. Whenever you're shooting horses, a clip is almost as important as nails. It takes shearing force off of off of the nails. If they are well fit, well set, well made, it really makes the job stand out and pop, and it's a great thing to do. So. Uh, a lot of people don't like to use clips because they don't know how to pull clips. And pulling clips is really about uh, just practicing. Um, I believe that for a for a young guy, if you'll pull 500 clips, you'll be just in about the right right area to start pulling clips on horses consistently and making them good. All right, when I pull quarter clips, I point my tongs at the area. I hold the shoe up at an angle. Then I hit and I drop my hand. As soon as I pull my source, I hammer around that spot, point the tongs at the opposite side, and you'll notice I'm pulling my right clip, my right source, second, because of the way I pull clips, I want to pull my right clip first. So to pull my right clip, I'm here, I hit flat, and I turn the shoe against the anvil, edge of the hammer, to pull, this, pull the clip out. Now I have clearance under here because I pulled that right clip first. Flat. Shoe against the anvil, edge of the hammer, pull out my clips. And I have two clips, two quarter clips and one heat. Lay that down, lay that down, work around my toe, that side, that side, and now I can go about shaping. So my clips are not laid down all the way. To level the shoe, I'll put it on the anvil here, around the toe. Pull it back into here to the heel. Push it into here to the heel. And turn it around. Go inside my clips, inside my tongs, inside my clip. Flat from the heel back. Inside, 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 inside. Flat from the heel back. And now I'll lay my clip down at the angle I want for that particular foot. All right, so that's quarter clips. If you pull a clip with a bob punch, you can see my, my bob punch for concave has a little, a little kick in it. And so I'll put it in the toe of the shoe and I will just hit straight down. More or less bottom it out. I don't want to cut through obviously, but it'll bottom out. You can see that area right there. So I'll just forge inside of that slightly move to the edge of the anvil in this position and then lay down the shoe until that edge is even with the edge of the anvil and then catch that little piece. And you can use the round side of your hammer that's kind of an old old school trick to get that material out. So that becomes my source. At this point I prefer to work from here. So I have my source I'll just get the edge of my hammer All right, so that makes a clip on concave where the shoe remains pretty strong. And at one time it was pretty common to pull a lot of clips with a cross beam. So I'm gonna show you the way we used to do that. I will point my tongs at the area of the clip. I will lean the shoe up, but I've gotta get here so that my cross beam is perpendicular to the area when I, where I wanna pull my source. So I just hammer into that spot, turn the shoe slightly, and that way I make my source. Forge around it like we do just normally. Then I'll come to here and start my clip flat, and then I will use the cross beam itself to pull the clip. really can make a big clip out of a pretty small source.